Do you ever feel like there are signs God is telling you to give someone a chance? Maybe you've noticed little things happening around you that seem to be guiding you towards something or someone. It's as if God is telling you something important and you can't quite ignore it. When it comes to relationships, these signs can be especially powerful. Sometimes you might find yourself drawn to someone in a way that feels inexplicable. You might notice certain patterns or coincidences that seem to be leading you towards giving them a chance. Do you believe in the power of intuition? Sometimes, that gut feeling you have about someone is more than just a feeling. It could be a message from God. Trust your instincts and listen to what your inner voice is telling you. If you feel drawn to this person and sense a connection, it could be a sign that God is guiding you towards them. Giving someone a chance based on your intuition might be exactly what God wants for you. Sometimes, the answers we seek come in unexpected ways. Pay attention to any signs or signals that come your way, as they could be answers to your prayers. God works in mysterious ways, and sometimes, He communicates through the people and situations you encounter. If you've been praying for guidance, consider if this person entering your life is God's way of answering your prayers. Number one, positive changes. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. It feels as though hope is being created within you when you witness someone honestly attempting to improve the situation. There could be more to this person than meets the eye and you may interpret it as a sign from above. Perhaps it serves as a reminder that everyone is entitled to another chance to get things right. It's as if God is gently reminding you to be open-hearted and give them another chance. It's incredible how inspiration can come from seeing sincere attempts to bring about positive change. You may begin to have a little more faith in individual virtue. When you witness someone making progress toward improving themselves, it can make you feel encouraged and optimistic. It's like seeing a flower bloom after a long winter. You can see the beautiful change taking place in front of your eyes. Acknowledging someone for their genuine efforts to get better can make you feel compassionate. You may find that you have greater capacity for support, forgiveness, and faith in the ability for change. It's similar to uncovering a hidden gem in a person you thought you knew. Personally, seeing others flourish can make you happy and serve as a constant reminder of the limitless opportunities for personal development and rejuvenation that exist for every person. Number two, Inner conviction. Let your heart guide you in the direction of kindness, love, and forgiveness. When your thoughts sway towards giving someone another chance, listen closely to that feeling deep within you. It's like a whisper from your heart, urging you to be kind and forgiving. Maybe it's more than just your own thoughts. Perhaps it's a message from God. When you feel forgiveness, it's like God is gently guiding you towards a path of compassion. Trust that feeling, for it could lead you to a place of healing and Sometimes, it's not easy to forgive. You may feel hurt or angry, and that's okay. But when you sense that inner conviction guiding you toward granting another chance, consider it carefully. It's showing you a way towards peace. Embrace that feeling of compassion, for it has the power to mend broken relationships and bring harmony into your life. As you ponder whether to give someone another chance, remember that forgiveness is a gift you give yourself as much as others. When you follow that inner voice, you're not just following your own desires, you're aligning yourself with a higher purpose. Trust in the wisdom of your inner convictions, for they hold the key to a more fulfilling life. Number three, forgiveness brings freedom. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. When you let go of grudges and decide to forgive, you're opening up a pathway for something special to happen in your life. It's like unlocking a door for God's grace and freedom to come flooding in. Instead of carrying around the heavy burden of past resentments, forgiveness frees you from that weight. Imagine walking forward without constantly looking back over your shoulder. Forgiveness gives you that chance to move forward unencumbered. Choosing to forgive isn't always easy, but it's worth it. When you forgive someone, you're giving them another opportunity, a chance to make things right. And at the same time, you're giving yourself the gift of freedom. It's like breaking free from chains that have held you back for too long. You're no longer tethered to the pain of the past, and you can embrace the present with a lighter heart. A forgiveness isn't just about letting someone off the hook. It's about setting yourself free 
It's about releasing the grip that anger and resentment have on your life. When you forgive, you're choosing to focus on the possibilities of tomorrow rather than being trapped in the bitterness of yesterday. So take a deep breath, let go of those grudges, and open yourself up to the freedom that forgiveness brings. Number four, God's love overcomes. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. When you understand how much God loves you, it changes how you see others. You realize that even though people make mistakes, God's love is bigger than all of that. It gives you the strength to forgive and offer second chances. Instead of judging others for their faults, you choose to show them kindness and understanding. Knowing that God's love goes beyond human imperfections fills you with hope. It means that no matter how many times you mess up, you're still worthy of love and forgiveness. This knowledge encourages you to extend the same love and forgiveness to those around you. You believe in their ability to change and grow, just as you believe in your own. When you embrace the idea that God's love can overcome any obstacle, you become a beacon of light in the lives of others. Your actions inspire them to believe in the power of love and grace. By offering support and encouragement, you give people the opportunity to rebuild what was broken and start anew. In this way, God's love shines through you, bringing healing and restoration to the world. Number five, hope for restoration. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. When you hold on to hope for fixing things in a relationship, it's like believing in a fresh start, just like how God promises to make things better. It's about giving the person another shot and trying to mend what's broken. You may feel like things are too broken to fix, but hope reminds you that there's always a chance to make things right again. Believing in restoration means trusting that things can improve. Giving someone the opportunity to reconcile shows kindness and understanding. It's about giving both yourself and the other person a chance to heal and rebuild what was lost. When you choose hope, you're choosing to see the good in people and situations. Holding on to hope can bring light into dark times and remind you that better days are ahead. So don't give up just yet. Keep believing in restoration, and you might be surprised at the beauty that can emerge from brokenness. Trust your instincts and listen closely to the whispers of your heart. If you feel a sense of peace and alignment, when considering the prospect of giving someone a chance, it may very well be a sign from God leading you to something meaningful. Embrace the journey with an open mind and a willing spirit, knowing that every opportunity for connection brings with it the potential for growth, understanding, and perhaps even love. The decision to give someone a chance is ultimately yours to make. Trust in God's guidance that surrounds you, but also trust in your own intuition and wisdom. As you reflect on these signs, Remember that sometimes the most unexpected avenues lead to the most extraordinary destinations. Whether it's a newfound connection or a rekindled spark, honor the signs God is telling you to give someone a chance. Be open to the possibility of love, growth, and unexpected blessings. Be blessed.